Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video. It is going to be update number eight in the deco painting project pan. This project was created by Emily. You guys know how much I love Emily. She will be linked down below as well as her introduction video in case you are interested in more information about this project. If it's your first time catching a deco painting project pan, I highly recommend checking out Emily's introduction video. All other information pertaining to this project will also be down in the description box. So check that out if you are curious to learn more, but we are going to be updating you on all of the products that I've been working on throughout this project. I do have nine products to update my progress on. I started this project with five products and every month that I didn't have a rollout, I still rolled a new product in, which is why are we which is why we are at nine products that we are working on. I do have some exciting rollouts to share with you guys today, so I'm super excited to get into it. If you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content, palette themed content, or just chit chatting about makeup, I'd love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on. We do have a palette week coming at the end of this month, month, which I'm super excited about, but hope you'll consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's get into the update. Okay, you guys, as always, I'm going to go in order that these products are were, were rolled in. So up first, I have this product, which has been in since the introduction. This is the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade of Mob Story, and I rolled this in for the prompt and influencer brand or collab. I have since taken the stopper out of this pro product, and there's still... There's still a ways to go. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. It is the liquid lipstick that I have on my lips today. It is a really beautiful kind of your lips but better sort of mauve tone shade. It's really nice and comfortable on the lips, especially for a liquid lipstick. It definitely has more of like a velvety feel to it and it does not dry my lips out literally at all. So this was sitting in my work desk for quite a while and this was like what I was wearing at work, but I'm still chugging along. I'm still chugging along. I hope that this will be an empty by the end of the year because it would be really exciting to have a liquid lipstick empty. I've been working on this product for multiple years. It's very old in my collection and my goal is still to use it up before the end of the year. Next product. I literally cannot find anywhere. It is my L'Oreal Color Splat, my L'Oreal Lipstick Glow Paradise Lipstick in the shade Beige Eden. Oh my gosh, I can't remember what, even what the name is. I can't find this literally anywhere. I hope it's in my car and I'm just like not seeing it because I was getting so close to finishing this lipstick up. This has been in since February and I rolled it in for your favorite color because this is my favorite shade of lipstick. It's super, super easy to wear and I just fingers crossed really hope I can find it because I was really looking forward to having a full size lipstick empty at the end of the year and I knew I was going to be able to do it with this product. So fingers crossed I find it, but I don't have that one to share my progress with you guys, unfortunately. All right, the next product has been in since February, since March, and I've rolled this one in for a graveyard product. It's my Kevin Aquan sculpting powder. This has been in many a project pan, and I have really exciting news, you guys. Um, I have reached for this a few times. I had repressed this since rolling it in, and I don't know if you'll even be able to tell. Can you guys see like that little inkling of a pan like right over here? There is the smallest little pan, so I've re-hit pan on this, which makes me so happy and so excited. Excited. My goal is to finish this before the end of the year. This is something I really, really was hoping to have complete before the end of the year. I don't know if that's going to happen. I have been contouring this year, but there's another product that I've been using, which we are going to get into because it's also a product I'm working on in this project. And I haven't really been reaching for a powder contour, so I'm struggling to get myself to reach for this, but still hopeful that I can have this as an empty before the end of the year. <laughs> We'll see this one I am still working on as well. And then speaking of the other contour, I have my Oma Beauty Contour and Highlight Stick, the Double Take Sculpt and Strobe Stick, which I rolled in for a dual or double-sided product. And I'm working on emptying out both sides of this product. Um, this is all I have left for the contour side which is so freaking exciting because this was a product I set out to pan this year, to empty out this year. But when I set that goal for myself, it was kind of in the back of my head, like this is definitely probably a product that like I'm not even gonna come close to. And I am so, so proud of the progress that I've made on the contour side. I do believe I can have this definitely finished before the end of the year if not you know a month or two before this is not something i'm gonna like scoop out once i get the product like flush with the packaging just because that is like not how i personally like to use products once it's flush with the packaging i've used this so much i am good with calling that an empty 
Now less exciting is the highlight side. I, I saw, <laughs> still have a lot of the highlight side left. I am planning to kind of experiment with this and use a hair dryer to kind of melt this into a lotion to create like a glowy body lotion just to try and get a little bit more use out of this. I like the highlight stick side of this, but I have a lot of other cream and liquid highlights that I like better or just as much as this one. So I thought it'd be fun to just try and like experiment a little bit. I've been having fun experimenting with using products in different ways this year and I haven't tried this form of experimentation yet so you know, I'm doing it for the science of it all you know <laughs> and I just literally dug my nail into the edge of that which is super annoying but I don't know we'll see how that um, experiment goes um, in order to finish off like the total product this year but I am just so excited about the progress even that I've made on the contour side if I could get this wipe out um, even the progress I made on the contour side that I'm counting this as a win but I am still working on this product as well all right, next up, not exciting at all. I have my Jaclyn Cosmetics Highlight High Gleams Liquid Highlighter. I rolled this in for social media pics. I put up a survey or like a poll between this and my Iconic London Liquid Highlight. Which one you guys wanted to see me use up, you guys voted on this one. And I don't know if I've reached for this at all since my last update. Here are my two line markings that I've made. This has been in the project for, um, this will be its fifth update. I rolled this in in May. I will continue to use this. I did set out a goal of completely finishing this off. I know I'm not gonna finish this this year. Like I definitely am not gonna finish this. A part of me wants to roll it out just cause this is more this type of product that I would want to reach for in like the spring summer when I can put it all over my body. But mm, what do I wanna do with this? Do I wanna just roll this out? Let's see, if I roll it out next update, I would be rolling in a product to work on for two more months. Or I could roll it out this update and work on a product for three months. I think I'm, mm, why am I always so torn? Like, why can't I just make a decision? Well, if I want to melt this into and use this as, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually roll this out. I just, I don't know if that's considered cheating or not, but I'm gonna roll this out just cause I don't wanna like only like, force myself to use this product when I know I'll really enjoy using this product next spring summer. So I'm gonna roll this out and roll a different product in. Okay, next up we have our first roll out of the video. This product has also been in since May and it is my Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in the shade Strawberry Drip. I rolled this in for the brand you own the most from and I'm fairly confident I own the most from Fenty Beauty. So I rolled in my favorite blush. We were leading into the spring summertime and I was so excited to get so much use out of it. But I definitely noticed that like my preferences for blush have changed since last year. And while I was still enjoying like a sunburnt blush from time to time, I was really enjoying a more orangey, peachy, coral sort of blush this year. So I was really struggling to reach for this. I think I originally set out for like a 20 or 30 use goal. And then I changed it to 10. I was only at five out of those 10 uses last update. I did push through and I did reach for this an additional five times, putting me at 10 out of 10 uses since rolling this in in May. Um, this is what the product is looking like. I'll be really interested to see what this looks like when I compare like the photos. Um, I did kind of clean up the sides a little bit today because it was looking a little bit janky, but I am, this was like my favorite blush, like my favorite cream blush in like 2021 or maybe last year. Um, so it kind of surprised me that I just like wasn't as excited to reach for it this year, but I still, I still really like the shade. Just, I still really like the shade, really like the formulation. It just, it wasn't my preference this summer. So this will be rolling out. I'm obviously still keeping this in my collection, but I'm very excited to work on something else. Another rollout, I have my Tula Skincare Protect and Glow Sunscreen. I rolled this in for the Prompt and SPF, and I did not have a ton left in this product. This product did expire in June of this year, um, and I rolled this in in July, actually. I was really just using this as a glowy primer. This is a very, very glowy product. I really, really enjoy this product and will likely purchase this again next summertime. I just love the glow that it gives to my skin um but i just use this as a glowy primer and that is how i finish this up it took me a couple months to do but this is officially an empty and will also be rolling out of the project all right next up this product rolled in in july as well it is my dior forever foundation and i rolled this in for the prompt a matte product this is 
one of my oldest foundations in my collection and I really, really, really need to use this up and get this out of my collection. And I don't know if it's because the product is getting older or just my skin has changed so much over the last like year, year and a half. I don't love as much the way that this has been looking on my skin, but I will say that about most foundations. I just like, my skin is so dry these days, um, no matter what I do. So I wanna finish this up before the end of the year. When I rolled this in, I had about half of the product left. Last update, we were here, and now we are right about here. So I've made almost the exact same amount of progress. I am reaching for this quite frequently. It does work really well for me to wear this foundation to work because it is longer lasting. I just find that I am looking just dry um the majority of the day so i don't love that about it i have mixed this with um like my charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter which i do really like it mixed um but just hoping to finish this up i haven't i have no like hesitation i think this could be done maybe not next update but by the november update for sure just judging on the progress that i've already made and i'll be really excited to move another foundation out of my collection i am reorganizing later today and i think i might take you guys along for like a organizing video or organizing vlog but i was just going through my foundation drawer and in my head i'm like i feel like i don't have that much foundation left but then i look at my inventory numbers and i'm like i really do but i'll be excited to move another foundation out of my collection this is still remaining in the project and then the last thing to update you guys are these two products which i rolled in for the same prompt um i got random color generator and i got this stark white shade i'm hoping i have a picture of it that i can post over here and my indecisive self like couldn't decide and I had to roll in two products for this prompt and I told myself I had to reach my goal on both products in order to roll out this prompt prompt and I have been successful in reaching my goal on that so I told myself I wanted to reach for the Kosas lipstick in the shade Vegas at least five times and I actually reached for the six total times I really enjoyed having this in the project and I forgot how much i absolutely love this shade just a really really beautiful warm nude brown shade and i anticipate i will continue to reach for this i'm actually just going to pop it into my everyday makeup drawer right in front of me after rolling this out so i did reach for that six total times and then for my natasha denona biba palette i wanted to use this no pan left behind style um and i have achieved that it took me reaching into this palette five total times in order to hit that goal and i actually did try to take pictures of the looks or um boomerangs of the looks that i created so i'll post them over here as i show you guys this what this palette is looking like i'm not sure i took a before picture of the actual palette if i did i will also post that on the screen but just looking at this palette i already feel like it looks so much more loved in just those five uses and this is a palette that i really feel has been neglected in my collection the last year year and a half or so and reaching back into this i just forgot how good this palette is and just how solid it is for like every day i really enjoyed the looks that i created there's one look i just sat down um one night and created a look with the like black silver and gray down here um and i didn't even do a full face of makeup so i do like a really close zoom in of that boomerang i i didn't love that look because i just don't love smoky eyes like that on my eyes but it was really easy like i was like okay like i like it more than i thought i was going to and playing around with this palette just made me kind of assess the rest of the palette similar to this color story in my collection a palette that comes to mind is the Nabla side by side palette, which I've been like kind of back and forth on whether or not I wanted to keep that in my collection. And after using this palette, I was like, okay, I like don't need Nabla side by side anymore because I just should reach into this. It's better quality. And I like my looks a lot more, but they're similar in tone. So I'm so glad that I rolled this into the project and completed No Pan Left Behind style. It's looking more loved. And I'm just excited to continue to reach into this palette. It's such a solid, just basic B workhorse sort of palette that is just adds so much value to my collection. So these two will be rolling out, meaning we are rolling this out as one prompt. We are also rolling out my Tula sunscreen and then the Fenty cream blush. So we are going to be rolling in three new products. All right, guys, I have my deck of cards, which I will shuffle really quickly. And I will, um, I should pull up the game board as well. The game board is pulling up. I will shuffle up here too, just so you guys know. We're giving it a good shuffy shuffy. Okay, game board's still loading. 
I'm nervous. I don't typically look at the game board and like plan out what I'm gonna be nervous for, um, but okay, pulling it up. All right, you guys, let's grab our three cards. So up first, we get the three of clubs, which is, my game board is still loading because my computer is so slow. Three of clubs is a glowy product. Ooh, that is perfect. I would love to work on a glowy product. Um, next up, we get the queen of clubs, which is in it for the long haul. I feel like all of the products that I've selected for this project are in it for the long haul products, which is okay. There's only three more updates of this project. So we'll just, we'll choose, we'll choose something. Then we have the two of clubs. Oh my gosh, all clubs. We have a pencil for this one. Ooh, okay. All right, you guys, I literally need to pee my pants. So I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go search through my collection, pick out the new products we're going to work on, and I will be right back to share them with you. Okay, you guys, I'm back. And this definitely, like, what's going on for what we're rolling in is definitely not where I thought we would end up. But I'm actually really excited for it. So let's start with the Three of Clubs. This is a glowy product. And for this, I'm gonna roll in this Trustique Highlight and Perfect Multi-Purpose Stick. And I'm gonna give myself just a five use goal on this. And the reason for that is I brought this into my collection at the beginning of the year. I was home visiting my mom and going through just like makeup that my sister, like my sister and I were just like always exchanging makeup. And this is a product I think either she decluttered or I decluttered and I pulled this out and I was like you know what I think I would actually like really enjoy this product I want to bring it back up and try it and that was like January February March at the latest of this year that that happened and I still haven't even tried this one time like not even one time so I want to do that so that I can decide whether or not I actually want to keep this or maybe in my next um, makeup declutter this is something that I can declutter I'm not sure we'll find out but that is gonna be the goal with this so this should be an easy rollout for next update but also should give me that motivation to actually get use out of this product and see if I want to keep it next up we rolled in the queen of clubs and for this it is a product that is in it for the long haul and for that I selected this lip balm because I wanted a product that would take some effort to finish, but also would be enjoyable to use um, because I have so many other products that I'm like, okay, like we're also in it for the long haul in this project. So I selected this lip balm from Bite Beauty. I actually recently found this. I may have found it at the bottom of my car. I can't remember where I found this, but I was like, oh my gosh, I still have a Bite Beauty Agave lip mask. This is in the shade Buzz and I have about about half of this left which if you've ever used up one of the bite beauty lip masks before you know these like literally take forever to go through because they're so intensely hydrating you don't need to continue to reapply so i'm going to encourage myself to reach for this all the time keep my lips nice and hydrated as we enter the fall and winter here in minnesota and hopefully have this as an empty by the end of the year this is also embarrassingly old in my collection i did do a, a test swatch and i smelled it and it doesn't smell off or anything but this is older my collections so like this needs to go this needs to be an empty by the end of the year and this will give me the motivation to do so so for in it for the long haul we are working on the bite beauty lip mask and i am just going to mark this right now as well so that is in it for the long haul and then you guys are gonna just roll your eyes because i rolled my eyes at myself for this next one the two of clubs is a pencil and I'm not choosing a pencil I'm choosing pencils and I'm super excited about this actually so for this I'm gonna roll in my handful of eyeliner pencils that I have in my collection this is every eyeliner pencil in my collection that's not like a liquid liner and not like a shadow stick um, I have 24 of them and I am gonna try and use each of these one time and so I can decide what truly like I want to keep in my collection and what I just don't need anymore. So I have a variety of colors. It feels like I have quite a bit of teals, greens, and blues with like a couple other randoms sprinkled in here and there. I feel like I struggle to get myself to declutter my pencils because in my head I'm like, well, I'll find a time to use them. And it's like, okay, do I even really like, do I like, do I? Like, I like this Kelly Green neon liner because I love me a bright neon color, but like, I'm never really reaching for an eyeliner like this. You know, like, I'd, I'd, I'd more likely reach for an eyeliner like 
even this, even this. So I want to do this to help me potentially find some new declutters throughout my collection. You know, we're getting closer to the end of the year, just over three months left in 2023. And I am really hopeful to enter the year of 2024 with just less stuff. Um, or just things that I like love the most. So that is gonna be the goal for this I can't roll this prompt out until I have used all 24 of my pencils at least one time So I'm literally gonna put these like I'm gonna put these maybe in oh, I know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put these in my s cup which is on this side and then as I use them I will transfer them over to my little way candle that i burned and have now and i'm now using as an eyeliner pencil cup that's what i'm gonna do that's what i'm gonna do um and that is it for today's update that is gonna wrap up my eighth update in the deck of painting project pan for 2023 it would love to know what you think of what i'm rolling in as well as what was the most recent product you guys finished off did you have a good painting month this past month let a girl know in the comments below other than that thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel as you guys always do i appreciate you guys more than you know and i will catch you in my next video bye